In Azure DevOps, you can now control what your pipelines can and cannot do with your code, adding checks and pipelines permissions. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. This is a 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coded Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And welcome to a new episode of the Three Minutes series. As you know, in each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something, and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today in this Three Minutes series episode, we talk about using repos as protected resources in Azure Pipelines so you can have a much granular control and security over them. Before we start, though, I want to thank Simon for being my new patron on Patreon. If, like him, you want to have access to exclusive content, Q&A, and much more, go to patreon.com slash coderdave to check out the options. All right, let's start the clock and get into it. So first things first, why would you even want to use this feature? Let me give you an example. It is fairly common having multiple repositories in a single Azure DevOps project, uh, perhaps to host sub-projects or services, for example. And each of those repositories may have one or more pipelines. By default, each of those pipelines can access all of the repositories in the same project. But this is where you may want to have more control over that and decide which pipelines can access which repository. For example, let's say you have two repositories, A and B, in the same project and two pipelines, X and Y, that normally build these repositories. You may want to prevent pipeline Y from accessing repository A. And in general, you want the contributors of A to control which pipelines they want to provide access to. As a contributor of the repo A, you can now add checks and pipelines permissions to your repo to control this behavior. You just navigate to the project settings select repositories, and then the repo you want to add checks to. You will notice a new menu called Approvals and Checks in the ellipses, where you can configure any of the approvals and checks like you have on service connections, environments, etc. And if you go under the Security tab, you can manage the list of users, pipelines, and even branches and tags that can access the repository. Remember though that these checks and permissions are only applicable to the YAML pipelines. In fact, the classic pipelines will not recognize these settings. And we're done, let's stop the clock. Another perfect three minutes Friday, I hope. Anyway, I hope this was really helpful and let me know in the comment section below if you have additional questions that I haven't answered and if you have specific scenarios in which you're using or plan to use this new feature. Finally, check out this video over here in which I explain you how and why you can disable repositories in Azure DevOps. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave. Oh, yeah.